come on, give yourselves a round of applause. Amen. We are so thankful to God for this occasion and the kickoff of this yet standing conference. And we're pushing along, we're pushing along. And we're thankful to God because He is a faithful God. And He is worthy to be praised. How many count Him as a worthy God? How many know that we could have been dead and gone? My story could have been very different. But God that is on my side allowed me with this opportunity to give Him the praise one more time. Despite it all and through it all. The song says, I'm learning to trust in Jesus. I'm learning to trust in God. We certainly are thankful to God again for the praise and worship that are gone for this far. And we're honoring all of our great dignitaries in coming in and moving in. We're so honored to have with us the hammer. <laughs> That's one. The chief apostle. None other than Bishop Bishop Lancaster. Come on, let's give God praise. For Bishop Lancaster being in our midst. And we're thankful to God for his dear wife and companion with us. God bless you. Thank God for ministering. Lancaster being with us on tonight and all the saints of God from Unity Temple, we're thankful to God for you, we're thankful to God for all of our elders and ministers throughout the, the building and the room and we're thankful to God for our speaker of the hour and apostle from North Carolina by the way of Charlotte Apostle Hyman. Come on, let's bless God for the preacher tonight. Amen, amen. His dear and lovely wife, accompanied with her. Lady Daisy Hyman. Come on, let's bless God for her as well. It sounds like we're about to have some time in here tonight. We're going to let go and let God, and we're so delighted. And we're so honored to have with us tonight uh, Lady Psalmstress in the area. And uh, we are blessed of God. I asked her if she would come, and she came, and she's here tonight. And we're going to hear from her. And she's going to bless us and move us even the next stage higher. But we're just thankful to God and we're excited about this yet standing 2017 and all that God has done for us thus far and the whole weekend what is going to take place and we're inviting everyone to be a part of our weekend conference. We're looking for a great move of God all week long. Tomorrow we have a great lineup on tomorrow as well and we're starting off tomorrow at 9 o'clock. We have Prophet Moffat with us on tomorrow. And he's going to be our first presenter in our first seminar at 9 to 10.30. And then from 10.30 to 12, we have a panel discussion. We're dealing with dispensations of the glory. And God has given us so much glory from the offset of time. And we're looking at all the things that he have done thus far. When you look back through all the ages and the dispensations that has been already, God has done some magnificent things. Will we agree that God is awesome? And not only is he awesome, but we, we look back and we see all the patriarchs of old that God have used and yes. all the shadows of ages and dispensations before that speaks to our time and our presence. And we're in the present now and God is revealing glory now. How many know that when God reveals glory, 
he just don't do it because he don't have nothing else to do. But there is something to his revealed glory. And that's what we need to be looking at now. What is God saying in this season and in this hour? What are we supposed to be doing? And how are we supposed to be positioned and prompt in this hour? And how is God using us to be shadows and types for things to come? And we're looking at all these questions. So we've got great seminars and panel discussions. And then 2 o'clock tomorrow, Pastor Leah Payne will be with us. We have a midday Saturday service. And it's going to be awesome. After all the panel discussions and all the tweaking and the brainstorming, we're going to get in the service and do a midday service. And then on Sunday, God has blessed us. Dr. Rodnett Little will be closing out dynamic speaker and we're looking for a move of God on Sunday afternoon as well all day Sunday for that matter so we're looking for a great move of God so we invite you to be a part all weekend long and uh, God have great things in store but tonight I'm thanking God for tonight because I'm excited about tonight we got some great things on store for tonight and we're looking and I don't want to prolong the service because I'm excited to hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. And why don't you bump somebody and encourage them that there is a word in the house. Oh, are you anticipating a word in the house tonight? I'm anticipating a word all week long. We and kind of moving through this and that and the snow came and we're thankful to God for the snow and I'm not going to cry about it because if this is all that we're going to have for the winter I'm satisfied God has been good <laughs> I'm not the snow person but if this is all that God has for us I'm satisfied we're going to give him praise if he do another 20 feet I don't have nothing to say, but give him the glory for the next 10 feet. But I'm excited about tonight. So we're going to move this service along on further. And uh, we're, again, asking everyone to be just, be at home and be comfortable. And uh, we're going to now bring forth our psalmist for tonight and we're going to let her come bless us for tonight and, and then we're going to get out the way oh you're in store for a treat uh, I, you that follow sister Dana on Facebook and she's there and she has a number of uh, I guess a website and all the things. You got material in the back. I want everybody to go back there and bum rush her at the end of the service. Get whatever she got back there. Take it. I know I'm going back because I was here at sound check. Yeah, I was here and I, I heard her tuning up. And I heard her warming up. I had already heard her on the site, but she is ready to go so why don't you at this time receive our psalmstress for the hour Miss Dana